If we move now to symptom number four, now this is where we shift from obstructive symptoms to what we call irritative, sometimes they're called storage symptoms, and these symptoms are a direct result of changes in the bladder wall. You may remember that I said that as the bladder has to work harder to drive uh, the urine beyond the blocked prostate, we end up with hypertrophy. The name of the bladder wall is actually called the detrusor muscle. So we end up with detrusor hypertrophy. If any of you have had an ultrasound, you may be aware of the term trabeculation, or sometimes it's just called a, or referred to as a thickened bladder wall. In essence, as the bladder wall thickens, it becomes less elastic. So the bladder wall becomes stiffer. So rather than being a soft floppy bag that accommodates changes in volume with very little pressure, what we begin to see is that as the bladder fills and distends, because the wall of the bladder is less elastic, there is a greater change in pressure. And as a result of that, symptom number four is that men go more frequently